I'm a bit confused because I thought I was over here the other day and there were some like garages but I guess it was probably a different town I'm just gonna keep running this way sometimes if you get confused on the main road it's easier to just go walking on the or sprinting whatever you want to say on the railroad because the railroad never really changes there's a couple of times oh we're going in this fire station a couple of times there are multiple railroads or tracks whatever you want to call them but they always tend to the thing I hate about this game is the zombies always run through everything if there's a zombie on you it'll get in the building it'll run through the floor it's a little bit annoying let me just kill this thing oh yeah always remember to hit the space bar I got hit die zombie You kind of like got to remember to aim ahead of them where they're going to be versus hitting behind them. See, as long as you find shirts or some sort of thing to heal yourself was to stop you bleeding, um, it's not really any issue with fighting zombies. Once you get people though, this door was already open, so I think there's a chance that there's someone already looted it, but there should still be some stuff left over for me. Uh, I hope I don't run into anyone. I'm on a low, or unpopulated server for the most part, so. There were like four or five people. It's nice, some pristine combat boots. Let me uh, put this axe away. Nothing in that locker. Spray paint. Yeah, we don't need it. That looks like some sort of ammo. 22 rounds. I do not know what gun in this game takes 22 rounds, so I'm not going to bother. I've never had a gun that took 22 rounds before. Um, it's splitting axe. Uh, pristine. And mine is pristine. I don't think splitting axe is like they um, change their... What do you want to call it? I don't think melee weapons at least change their stats on if they're pristine or damaged or not. I think they just stay the same. Is that a... that's a camo boonie hat? I think mine's camo, but... Eh, maybe it isn't. I'll put that one on. Now I definitely want to make sure to be careful out here. I don't want to break my legs now. A pilot helmet? Let's see how this looks. Never found one of these before. Yeah, I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. There's going to be some dude just sniping up here waiting. It's going to be awful. Alrighty, I guess there was really nothing up here. I think I can get onto the roof though. If I go down one more. Some, there's probably some way to get up on the roof, if not. You'd think right there, maybe. Oh, there's a ladder, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I feel like there's a way to get on the roof. I wonder if it's on the side of the building. What was that? Oh. I wonder if this will teleport me. Oh yeah, look at that, that's crazy. Guess something they need to fix. Let's see if we get a weapon up here. Gotta be super careful up here. I got 9mm rounds, there's a zombie down there. 357 rounds really nothing I'm looking for now this is the most deadly process you need to make sure that you always pay attention when you're climbing down ladders if you rush it you will fall and you'll fly and you'll break your legs or die and unless you can make it yourself a splint you are screwed Let's see if there might be a gun up here I can see that happening No, there's no gun. Alright. We're going to have to kill the zombie, most likely. 
I mean, it's not most likely. It's, it's going to happen as long as he's targeted on me. My question is how am I supposed to get back in this thing? Well, this can't be good. If I don't have a way down. I can't be jumping around or anything. Hmm. Well, what did I get myself into? You'd think there'd be a ladder or something on the side here. I know if you fall like five feet in this game, you break your legs. You would think that this door right here opens. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a problem. Think I could sprint through a wall, maybe? No, you can't go in there. Probably some of you guys didn't know what to do here, or like, you're a retard. Hmm. Maybe there was another, um, if I go back up here, there's another way. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm really hoping here. I don't want to lay down, I want to get up. Then we got this zombie that won't stop making sounds. Oh, there we go. Thank God. I thought I was about to, like, have to start all over again. As long as the zombie is not right down there waiting, we're good. Oh! Can it climb? I need to have my weapon ready. This is going to be intense. Okay, this is going to be intense. Alright, he can't get me good. I was about to be like, if I just get hit and start bleeding instantly because of this zombie just waiting there, it's messed up. Nope. Make up your mind. There we go, I'm getting the hang of killing these zombies. Nice. Alright, now that we looted this place, and there was nothing much here... I'm going to check this little building if I can open the door. I can't. Alright, we are going to head to either Electro or Cherno. I cannot tell you which one is next because sometimes I really feel like this is Electro, but then I feel like it isn't. I feel like it's um, the town that I do not know the name of still. So yeah, we will... Uh, I'll talk when I get back to you. And this zombie, I'm going to go have to kill it. Let me crouch and get in my stance. Get in first person because you got to be in first person when you sneak up on zombies. I feel like maybe if you aim for the head, you kill them in one hit. And if you aim for their back, it's two. I'll have to test that theory out though on the next zombie that I run into. Alright. See, there's definitely been someone here, I think, within the, between, like, the last time that the server respawned, or restarted, because I believe if the door's open, that just means someone's already been here. I mean, it's pretty common, but they're probably long gone. It just makes me worried that they're going to be, if they were heading this way, they're going to be, um, at where I'm going next, which is the airstrip, and or where I'm trying to go eventually with the military base in the airstrip. I gotta kill another damn zombie. You wanna go? Oh, I got hit. Oh, 
at least I didn't start bleeding. I would have got a little frustrated. Definitely need to go into third person for those uh, zombie kills when you want to, or when you want to kill the zombies and they are, what do you want to call it, uh, chasing you. I'm 90% positive that the town behind us was Electro because this right here is Cherno or Chernobyl, whatever they intended it to be. I don't think on the map it's called Chernobyl, but at the same time I can't write, I mean I can't read Russian, so I have no clue. Um, there is probably tons of loot that I could find around here, but I'm just going to go straight on over to the uh, military base, or not military, the airstrip, because... I actually have never looted this place. Um, if you have and you say that it's really good stuff you can find here, just let me know in the uh, like um, in the comments, because I'll make sure that I step or come back here and loot this place on another life. Maybe this isn't. I, I think it is though. Yeah, this is the main room. Maybe this is a uh, still. Electra. I think this is Electra. I have just, don't mind me, I have no clue what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is Electro. I'm just thinking that it's Cherno for no reason. I guess because Cherno has a factory, and that kind of looked like a factory. This is the hospital. I'm definitely going to hit this hospital up before we leave Electro. Electro, Electro, you tell me what it is so I remember and do better the next time. Uh, let's put these fists away. I'm not, I'm not Mike Tyson over here. Take brown hunter pants. What do I got? I got summer ones. I'm gonna keep the camo summer ones. This is where we should get some food, and we definitely should get some probably health packs, uh, just all sorts of good stuff. Like, alright, there is some canned tuna, and.